All right, guys, it's time to talk the set. And by talk the set, I mean, let's look at each piece individually that we have acquired from both the brick that was wonderfully provided by our friends over at WizKids, as well as our, uh, our what is the word I'm looking for? Our booty from the, uh, from the uh, pre-release event. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I always love these things and they're a great time. If you get a chance to get out there and give it a try, do it. Uh, if there's a pre-release around the corner from you, take a chance to do it. It's really kind of low key. The fact that they've kind of taken out prizing from it makes it just a, a fun chance to play with uh, other people in this game. So with that said uh, and everything behind us, let's go piece by piece with what I've, we've got from the set and see what's casual, what's competitive, what's sealed, what's not, and go from there. All right. So away to infinity. All right, we're going to do as we do. You're going to see the figure in front of the camera, get a good look at it, and we're going to talk about whether or not it's a competitive figure or, or a casual figure. Now, a casual figure, of course, you can always play figures from Hero Clicks uh, just around the table. We'll also mention in Sealed if a figure is okay as well or if it's a real standout in Sealed. But let's get started. All right, here we go. So starting with figure number 001, Iron Man. He's got Avengers armor and scientist keywords. He's got this Avenger Infinity uh trait which we'll talk about once and it will appear in other figures when iron man attacks only characters of 100 points or more you may choose to modify attack or damage by plus one he's got a special movement power sidestep running shot but only if no other characters have been given a costed action this turn uh it goes a long way towards um getting an extra boost off the top to make him worth it for 60 points he's a pretty cool casual avengers character great and sealed not going to see competitive play but for the most part, a really neato dude, uh, especially with probability control in there on the second click. So you can spend the first two turns shooting and then start using him for probability control and sealed. All right. Next up, figure number 002, Black Panther. Also, we're going to start with the little figures, then we're going to go on to the uh, colossal and double base figures uh, from there. So Black Panther's got the Avengers, Marvel Knights, Wakanda, and Ruler Keyword. He ignores hindering and elevator for movement. Uh, and he's got a trait that says stealth. When Black Panther KOs a character, he can use charges uh, free this turn. Um, and there's his set of stats. If you can get off a kill shot with this guy, uh, you are sitting pretty good. Uh, and the fact that he ignores what he ignores for him for terrain is neat. Um, not a, uh, once again, it, this falls under the not super competitive. Great and sealed. Uh, really good portion to either your Wakanda, Marvel Knights, or Avengers keyworded teams. All right, next up, we have the Black Widow, Avengers and Spy keyword. Elevated terrain is ignored for her movement. She's got this origin trait. A couple characters have the origin, so we'll just say the origin and the team uh, as references. But at the beginning of the game, if Black Widow is part of an Avengers-themed team, she can use the Avengers team ability this game. Otherwise, she modifies her attack and defense by plus one this game. Uh, Communist Spy, she's got traded stealth. If Black Widow is your highest point character on your force, she may not be targeted by non-adjacent opposing characters. It's a heck of a thing to get her as your highest point character at 50 points. She starts with some Perplex. Uh, she's got some Mind Control on her second click. Uh, she's a neat-o addition on Sealed when you consider the fact that she's got plus one attack, plus one defense on that first click, and then plus one attack, plus one defense on that second click. So uh, in close combat, she's uh, a masterpiece. Um, but for 50 points, there's better options. Uh, she's just a neato addition to a team that's a, a not Avengers theme, as a matter of fact. It might be good for a spy team um, if you want to build around that. Uh, so, And a, not a bad addition in Sealed. Uh, much like this Hawkeye, he's, his origin trait is also for the Avengers. Uh, ignores elevator for movement, and he's got a special attack power, Precision Strike, but he can use it on up to two targets. Those of you who are more familiar with older rules, Precision Strike can only target a single character now to get its effects. Uh, and then when you consider that if he's not on an Avengers theme team, he's got plus one attack, plus one defense. He's a sealed bombshell, uh, great attack, lots of little, little picking damage potential uh, for sealed play. Not going to see competitive play per se, but... Uh, great tabletop uh, potential on this guy as well. All right, next up, we have Vision. Uh, Avengers and Robot keyword, a special movement power where you least expect me. Phasing and teleport. When Vision is given a move action after resolutions, he may make an attack, close or range. Uh, then he's got a special defense power as dense as diamond or lighter than air. At the beginning of your turn, you may choose invincible or both shape change and super senses. Vision can use the chosen powers until you choose again. Uh, that's a really cool defense power. He has his first two and last two clicks. He's indomitable. He's got a special movement power on his first and second and last click at 100 points. Uh, it's a solid common for sealed. A very neato Avengers character uh, for casual. Not going to see. Well, there's some potential for competitive play, but not a high ideal 
a competitive figure uh, for the most part. All right, next up, figure number 006, Moon Dragon. Avengers, Defenders, Guardians of the Galaxy, Infinity Watch, and Martial Artist keywords. She's got the Avengers Affinity trait, uh, and she's got Psychic Blast and Telekinesis as a special attack power, which she has on her first three clicks. She's indomitable for 60 points. A very, very solid 60-point character. It's going to very be very, very potent in the uh, casual play uh competitive play not a whole lot going on with the environment as it stands right now uh i'm not seeing much in the way of a future for her in that case either but overall just you know sealed she's gonna be great because that this avengers infinity trait is really strong in the sealed environment for the set especially when you start including the colossals in uh play so i like moon dragon for sealed i like it for casual they're not gonna see a lot in competitive they expect a lot of that in the common slot these days guys all right next up firefly firefall space knight armor cosmic and robot keywords galdorian reactive armor you'll see that on all the space knights they have this trait which gives them toughness but it's in vulnerability when it's uh, a range attack that they're being targeted by and they got a special defense power when they're adjacent to one or more friendly characters with space knight keyword modified defense by plus one and then they got a series of, he's got a series of uh pretty standard powers across there starts with some poison on the top he's got that plus one defense next to space knights on his first two clicks he's got sidestep turns in the running shot energy explosion with expo uh, with enhancement later on 70 points is a hefty investment for this character uh but space knights is going to be a fun team to play uh and probably a last call uh last piece to put on your team for sealed play all right next up we have pip the troll he's got infinity watch x factor and cosmic keywords he's got the space gem chooses to bear trait phasing teleport and passengers too but may carry characters that have the flight symbol or can use battle fury when he is ko'd choose a friendly character for the rest of the game that character has phasing teleport and carry two characters um when pip the troll attacks one or more characters with two action tokens modifies attack by plus three so he gets you when you're tired um not a first line attacker but the uh the carry potential on this guy is pretty cool uh his movement is fairly high and it comes with stealth so he gets around there pretty neato uh pip the troll is probably got some 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 taxi potential as we like to say um the, it could it could go somewhere it might not be me but somebody might figure him out all right next up rocket Guardians of the Galaxy and Animal Keyword Origin before the Guardians. Uh, so if it's not a Guardians team, he gets plus one attack, plus one defense. A pretty neat sealed bomb, Blades Claws, so the damage isn't really going to factor in. He does fly. Um, and It's a shame he isn't tiny, but uh, all that said, not a terrible sealed character. Um, and he's going to be fun as part of an animal theme team, uh, to say the least, on casual uh, days. And he ends off with some late, some late dial, uh, you know, range combat. So, a lot of fun. Nah, once again, casual certified. All right, next up, let's talk about her. <laughs> uh, Alpha Flight and Cosmic Keywords, Cocoon Metamorphosis. When her is KO, generate a standard and mobile object. You got to pay an additional 10 points on top of her 90 points for this, by the way. She's also Power Cosmic, which is cool. Um, when her is KO'd, generate a standard or mobile object in her square disk, the standard or mobile object, and give it three Cocoon Tokens. For the rest of the game, at the beginning, you turn remove a Cocoon Token. When you remove the last one, if that object is on the map, KO that object and generate a Kismet. Uh, figure number 16, which we'll talk later. I'll click one in that square. Uh, protected Pulse Wave, uh, this power has. It's got, she's got special damage power. I can heal the body, not the soul. Support, when she, her uses it, increase the amount of healing by one if the target has no action tokens. This is almost a must play in sealed because of that prob off the top with some running shot uh, psychic blast. The late dial will be a little bit more support based. We actually, Amber and I, when we, if you're watching our sealed unboxing, uh, we were building sealed teams with our boxes, and in the last set of boxes, we got two of her because she's only a common. So we ended up using them both. Uh, couldn't couldn't deny that. Ninety points, very very good casual player. There might be a home for her in competitive play. I have to take a look into it, do a little bit of my own personal research with it. But there's there, there's something going on with her. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have the shield agent. Shield keyword, uh, trait, special issue space rig, energy shield deflection, and passenger zero. So they fly but can't carry 40 points. This is a generic, generic figure. Um, just part of your shield casual play team. Not much to be said about that. Uh, last pick sealed kind of figure. All right, next up. Figure number 12, 012, 
ego antibody cosmic and robot keywords dirt demons is this trait which gives it plasticity uh, and then there's a what you see what you get four click dial with some super strength off the top there's much to be said about a 30 point character with sidestep uh and super strength but it's going to be a last last include in sealed um a uh, occasional add-in for your cosmic robots probably some kind of ego based team uh, to use with that but not much to be said for a lot of these smaller and generic characters all right next up we hit the uncommon slot figure number 013 black panther 2099 wakanda future martial artist ruler and spy keywords traded with shape change uh then he's got a special movement power leap climb sidestep and stealth look we fixed the cape guys um and then so what you see is what you get dialed for 60 points with the new New wild card symbol. I don't know where my finger is. The new wild card symbol. So he is a wild card with those stats. Um, once again, not competitive rated, casual rated. Um, traded shape change, leap climb, self, side step, self. This, this is an include in uh, your in your seal play. Um, not immediately, but is a thought. He's definitely worth worth a thought. All right, next up. Got figure number 014, the Anti-Vision, not the Avenger you know. He's traded with Shape Change and Stealth. When Anti-Vision hits a character with the Avenger's keyword, after resolutions, give that character an action token. Very strong in the city. That's a Moon Dragon. <laughs> uh, Anti-Vision's right there. Uh, 85 points in Domino and Flies. Sealed potential. A lot of beef coming out of this guy in the sealed play. And he is under 100, so he's not really susceptible to that Avenger's Affinity trait. Um, and there's a lot of Avengers in the set. So if you have the anti-vision, consider him when you consider the environment of the set. Uh, so I jumped the gun on this figure, but hey, here's another Moon Dragon in here. This one's painted green. Uh, Avengers, Defenders, and Infinity Watch keywords. She's got traded mind control with two targets. Uh, when she's KO'd by an opponent's attack, choose a friendly character for the rest of the game. That character can use mind control. She's got mind control, and she passes mind control. She's also got a special attack power, uh, Psychic Blast, and when she uses it after resolutions, give the attack, uh, the given action token to a hit character. Uh, seven range with a single target. And she's got that psychic blast on the first three clicks, which turns into the telekinesis later on. Starts with some shape change with some late dial perplex. Eh, I'd, I'd consider this figure for sure in sealed play, uh, especially if you got somebody with different attacks that you want to make use of her mind control with. But her damage potential is uh, pretty solid as well when you consider that she can use uh, psychic blast and it gives an action token. All right. Next, hitting the on, uh, the uncommon slot would be figure number 016, Cosmic, and it's Kismet. Uh, we talked about her earlier. This is the figure she turns into. She's got a trait. Fathers, why did you create me? Power, generate an enclave scientist bystander. Kismet may only activate this a maximum of three times each game. Fathers, now we can travel the stars together. Power, remove all of Kismet's enclave scientist bystanders by, uh, from the game, then generate cosmic enclave bystanders in their squares. So you start with these little scientist dudes that have energy shield and at wit, and then they, if you get into the late dial with her, which is where she has that power, uh, they turn into these blah guys, uh, but you're, kiss, you're about to lose your Kismet. Uh, it's an iffy call for sealed. I've included her in my own sealed teams because I like her, uh, but... It's not a surefire thing. She's uh, she's super mobile with her psychic blast, with her sorry, with her hypersonic. Um, but the range is a little hurty on it. But she has power cosmic, which means she's a uh, whip proof. So there's potential. Um, but think about it. Be careful with her. She's not an all out gonna win it for you in sealed. There's an idea that I'm running around with her in com uh, competitive play. Got to see how it works out. Uh, going to be a fun, casual scientist maker, though, that's for sure. All right, next up, we have Nick Fury, number figure number 017, shield and soldier keywords. He's got a special attack power, battle suit, kill mode, penetrating psychic blast. When Nick Fury damages an opposing character after resolution, remove an action token from Nick Fury so he can keep going if he keeps hitting, uh, assuming that he that he has that power late dial. So, uh, But he also has let's kick some butt boldly. Leadership, when Nick Fury uses it and succeeds instead, remove an action token from each friendly character with the shield keyword within four squares. Uh, this is just a generally decent attacker for 75 points. Quite the nice dial with a shield team ability to boot. Indomitable. Uh, pretty much a must play in sealed. Uh, maybe future consideration, but I don't know if he's got a place in post uh, rotation world. Um, we'll see how he does, but uh, casual rated for sure. All right. All right. Next up. 
Uh, figure number 18, Tigra. Avengers and animal keywords. You get the Avengers Infinity trait. Unpredictable as a cat is her other trait. Leap climb. When Tigra uses it, after resolutions, roll a d6. If the result is equal to or higher than the number of squares she moved, she may be given a close action at no cost. That close action can at times come with blades and flurry. She's 45 points with the Avengers Infinity. Uh, she's basically a include in sealed in this environment because of her attack potential and defense potential because you're looking at a 19 no not a 19 she's looking at 11 attack when she's attacking with those blades or if you really need to get the damage through she's a 10 attack with three damage depending on what you need to hit with it uh if she does take a couple damage but not enough uh she could be leap climbing with the potential to flurry after the fact which whew, that is um that's a scary thought uh coming from a character with blades claws so do not ignore that tiger uh get her or not all right, next up we have Gamora, Infinity Watch, Assassin, and Warrior keywords. She's got the Time Gem, chooses its bearer trait, probability control with a minimum range of eight. When Gamora is KO'd by an opposing uh, opponent's attack, choose a friendly character. For the rest of the game, that character can use probability control. Uh, she's also got a special attack power, which gives her precision strike and super strength. At 65 points, she starts with a 12 and 11 attack on those first two clicks. With that power, 65 points uh, with traded prob. I can't stress that enough. Traded probability control. Um... Say it again, traded, probability control. <laughs> you didn't hear it the first three times. Um, which makes her basically a must include in sealed. Uh, and then it's it's permanent probability control because if she doesn't have it, then somebody else on your team has it because she's dead. Uh, so consider Gamora for your sealed teams. Consider her for part of your Infinity Watch teams because I can't wait to see how these Infinity Watch guys start passing around powers and whatnot. I, I, I would love to try out that team for casual play. Next up, Star Lord. Amber missed her opportunity to say who. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Cosmic Keywords. Um, he's got Origin before the Guardians. So, Guardians of the Galaxy, non Guardians of the Galaxy teams give him better stats. Otherwise, he gets protected at whip. Uh, Element Gun, uh, which gives him Energy Explosion, Incapacity, Quick, and Knockback, which are all very strong powers on a pretty, pretty decent 75 point dial. Uh, when you consider that could be a 12 attack with 18 defense on a non Guardians themed team. So, uh, Star Lord, a lot stronger uh, than most Star Lords. Who? So, uh, consider Star Lord for your seal. Uh, consider him for your Cosmic teams. Who knows? All right, next up Venom. Space Knight. Guardians of the Galaxy, Space Knight, Spider-Man Family, Thunderbolt, and Cosmic Keywords. Ignores elevated and hindering for movement. It's got the alien symbiote trait, which gives him plasticity, shape change, and breaks away automatically. 125 points with the Spider-Man team ability. He starts with some perplex, has indomitable. Uh, we already know he ignores some hind some terrain. He's got some running shot, which turns into charge, which turns into late dial flurry, which turns into some regen. So the regen can get him up to that third click there, which gives him back into close combat range, but and some late dial uh, battle fury. Never forget, late dial battle fury, there's two characters that mind control in this set never forget your battle fury guys never forget <laughs> battle fury also ignores uh things like shape change all right next up we have the she hulk uh avengers lady liberators and brute i love she's so classy on her way to the uh to the courtroom uh fierce litigator uh close combat expert when she hulk uses it and hits after resolutions choose one of the uh, one to last until your next turn a hit uh, target modifies attack by minus two or hit target modifies defense by minus two so that's pretty cool on a 50 point character with the doubtable some super strength to go with it but the super strength does no longer work with close combat expert but <clears throat> 50 points it's an okay character <laughs> um all right next up Jack of Hearts, Avengers Armor, Cosmic Keywords, Avengers Infinity Trait, and Special Attack Power, Zero Fluid Explosion, Pulse Wave, when, Pulse Wave, when Jack of Hearts uses it after resolutions, you may place him adjacent to a hit character, it's a very cool mobile ability that gives him, uh, he gets on a first three clicks for 75 points, he's got some late dial regen, he's got that Pulse Wave, Running Shot Pulse Wave, it's hard to come by these days, uh, it's just a shame that it comes on a guy with, uh, without Indomitable, but for 75 points, He's okay. He's pretty okay. Um, we'll see how he factors into the game as a uh, grand scale. Uh, almost a must play in sealed play for sure. Uh, and we're hitting that rare slot now, guys, just as a heads up. So uh, we're getting pretty close to the end of the standard figures. All right, 
Next up, we have Mantis. Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Martial Artist keyword. She's Origins Guardian, so either protected outwit on the Guardians theme team or a plus one attack, plus one defense. I will help you control your emotions. Is there other trait friendly characters within four squares have four squares have free? This character can't use Battle Fury or Earthbound Neutralize this turn. That's a cool thing if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to be affected, you know, like Battle Fury stops you from being carried. That's a reason I can think of for that. Or Earthbound stops you from flying, so now you fly. All right, so she comes in at fifty points, and if she's not, she's pretty great in close combat in a sealed environment where she's not part of a Guardians theme team. <laughs> a lot of qualifiers there. I sorry guys, uh, but for the most part, she is your basic Iron Fist martial artist type character uh, that excels greatly in close combat but the game starts at range all right so next we have figure number 31a the terminator he's got space knight armor cosmic and robot keywords uh he's got that toughness and invulnerability uh trait that's toughness uh normally or uh invulnerability at range sorry i'm kind of peeking around seeing what's going on here uh, and then, of course, when Terminator is adjacent to one or more friendly characters with a Space Knight keyword, it modifies plus one defense. Uh, 90 points, you get this with incapacitate. Triple target incapacitate's okay, five range with a running shot. Um, not bad and sealed. Uh, late dial turns into don't shoot but charge uh, with Battle Fury isn't bad. And then you get some late dial uh, steel energy as well, which can keep them in the game potentially, though I wouldn't count on it. 90 points. If you have another Space Knight, definitely give them a try. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you know, probably easy to pass on this guy. But he does have a friend, and that is the B-Dial. Uh, 31B Terminator. He's got Space Knight, Armor, Cosmic, Robot, and Ruler keywords. Uh, toughness and Vulnerability trait, and the Galdorian Phalanx special defense power. But he's got a special damage power, which he has on his first three clicks. Galdorian, or sorry, a Prince Among Knights. Leadership. Once per turn, when a friendly character hits an opposing character with an attack, after resolutions, you may roll a d6. On a 5 or 6, remove an action token from the character. On a 3 to 4, remove an action token from that character if it has the Space Knight keyword. So this guy basically runs Space Knight teams awesomely. Uh, he runs armor, cosmic, robot, ruler, keyword-based teams awesomely as well. At a bargain of 60 points. Um... Which, you know, turns into late dial, close combat character. But 20 defense in close combat is pretty great. Uh, long and the short of it is there's a consideration for this guy. His leadership, with the new changes to leadership and the way he functions generally. Uh, plus the fact that you'll get his beginning of the turn leadership. And then you'll make an attack, possibly hit. And then possibly remove an action token from that character as well. Uh, clear action tokens goes a long way towards acting turn after turn after turn. Uh, so... Do not look overlook this Terminator. There's other ones that are like this or unique instead of prime. A uh, neat concept this time around. All right, next up, figure number 32, Nova. Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, Nova Core, and Cosmic Keywords. Share through the rule mind trait. Friendly characters with Nova Core keyword have protected outwit. Shooting star trait. When Nova moves at least six squares, you can use energy shield deflection until your next turn. Uh, meteoric impact is a special movement power charge when he uses it you may choose that he must move in a direct path if you do he breaks through blocking ignores characters and after resolutions he can use quake at no cost so it's charge attack uh break through walls and do everything and after you're done your charge you can quake if you can line it up with a single character you can get four damage up to eight damage in a single attack so long as you can line it up properly um 150 points, and that is basically why he is that many points. But the problem is that he doesn't get that power until his second click. He starts with hypersonic, which, oh, man, it's such a gamble to try to get onto that click and make it work. So uh, if you can if you can make it happen, you can make it happen. It's, it's a shame this guy exists in a world without his ID card. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, Iron Patriot. Uh, Avengers Armor Scientist keyword Tony Ho is this character. Uh, this is a uh, not Tony Stark under here. Um, piloted armor built for rescuing, not shooting. Force Blast and Defend. When an adjacent friendly character is hit by an attack that did not also hit the Iron Patriot, what for you gave, she may become the hit target of that attack instead. So you gotta think that's uh, traded Defend, which means you're getting an 18 defense off of this character. She's got Invincible. And if somebody is about to take some damage you don't want them to take, you could take the invincible, take it with the invincible here and get your character to survive for 80 points. Uh, sealed bomb for keeping something bigger alive. 
Uh, just a generally neato character uh, for casual play as well. I'm not going to be making too much of a splash out there in the world of competitive play. All right, next up, Quasar, Avengers Infinity trait, uh, which makes him immediately good and sealed, uh, containing the threat. When Quasar hits with a range attack, after resolutions, he can use Barrier at no cost, and he's got Steel Energy, but with range attacks instead of close attacks for his special attack barriers, Avengers and Cosmic Keywords. Comes in at 125 points with the Avengers key, uh, team ability. Uh, indomitable. Uh, eight, you know, invincible to start. He's a running shot psychic blaster, which turns into that steel energy, which puts him back eventually into running shot psychic blaster territory. Uh, late dial range combat expert, which you can com combine with his version of steel energy, so you can probably get that attack off more reliably. Not bad. This is going to be a very strong. This is I played against it. It's a very strong sealed call, to say the least. Um, competitive play. It's going to take a little bit of work, but I think he can do some work. All right, next up, we have Cosmo. Annihilators, Guardians of the Galaxy, Animal, and Cosmic Keyword. Ignores hindering for line of fire. Uh, origin before the Guardians. Uh, so you'll either be protected out wit or plus one attack, plus one defense. I am Cosmo, I am in brain. Uh, mind control, when Cosmo uses it uh, to target more than one character, modify attack by plus one, he has two targets. Um, and then, and that, of course, will stack with his origins before the guardians so you could get a potential plus two attack when he's mind controlling more than one character so that could be a 12 attack on the first click 13 attack on the second click so all right uh you have loud brain choose an opposing character within range until your next turn that character can't be given power actions that's one of those abilities that you don't that you look at and you go I don't know. That doesn't seem that great. And then you take, you lose a power action. You go, that's amazing. <laughs> so, because you got to think things like running shot and charge are both power actions. So he can shut those off potentially. Uh, but he doesn't get that until second, third. Of, excuse me, fourth click. Um, he could be a potential nineteen defense on the first click. So he's a little difficult to hit. It does come with TK. He's a great old support character for seventy points. Cosmo's got potential. Uh, next up, Starshine. Uh, Space Knight Armor Cosmic Robot, uh, all the all the goods that come with your standard uh, Space Knight kit, but also a little bit more damage, hypersonic, indomitable flies with an 8 range at 90 points, sealed good, uh, generally a good character, like if you look at that stat line and what she brings to the table, she's just a generally good character, um, some possible potential as far as a, uh, as a competitive piece. It's not at face value, though, that's for sure. All right, and then our chase that we pulled at our pre-release, Star Fox. Not the game, guys. Calm down. Uh, he's got Cosmic Entity. Star Fox can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. He's got the fourth virtue of life, Passion, which gives him Flurry. Once per turn, when Star Fox's attack roll has a four, after resolutions, heal each friendly character one click if they are adjacent to another friendly character. Uh, then he's got special defense power, life's last hope, stop, mastermind, which is just on his last click there. Oh, excuse me, spoiler alert. Uh, he's also 80 points of power cosmic. Uh, he's got special damage power. I appreciate the desire to improve the flow of energy. Perplex, but only for, to modify value other than damage plus two. So it's an only plus two perplex, which uh, he also has Avengers, Eternal, and Cosmic keywords. He's got that on the first three clicks. That plus two only. Oh. So good and sealed, uh, but a chase and sealed. Counting on getting a chase and sealed, it's it, it, it's bad mojo, to say the least. Uh, but Amber played this to great success uh, in sealed play, and it is a really really solid perplexer uh, to say the least. So keep your eye out for Star Fox. Um, there's some casual and competitive potential in that character, uh, though it's a little more risky in the competitive side. All right. Let's get big, guys. Let's start by talking about a shield flying car. Uh, well, I guess this is where we get off. Stop. It's on the defense click. Uh, when shield this click is revealed, KO shield flying car, uh, but leave it in its squares. Don't generate an object. Turn it into click number 14. It is now special terrain. It's got special terrain there. Uh, so this is the dial. Uh, generally, you want a decent pilot for it. Uh, this is your stats. Uh, for your thing, which we'll talk about in a second, the, um, oh my gosh, uh, the special terrain dial. Uh, shield spy and vehicle keywords. So special terrain uh, counts as hindering terrain for line of fire purposes and blocking terrain for movement and occupancy purposes. Uh, characters in adjacent squares modified their defense value by additional plus one when targeted by range attacks. 
if the line of fire drawn to them crosses through the flying car, when a non-adjacent character misses a line of fire that crosses misses on a line of fire that crosses shield flying car after resolutions turn the dial one click, when the special generator terrain is KO'd, generate a standard heavy object in each square it occupied, and then it's got the special thing. It was designed to self-destruct in the wrong hands. Each time a click with this power is revealed, roll a d6. If the result is greater than their displayed number, destroy the special terrain, deal three damage to all characters within two squares, and line of fire. Uh, and so it's like kind of a four, five, four, three thing there. It's five points just as the special terrain, 10 or 40 is your lines. Um, special terrain is definitely making a splash. I'm not going to kid myself. This might see itself uh, on a map just as a busted up car. All right, next up, we got a Hulk. Uh, Avengers, Brute, and Monster Keywords. Special trait, no tricks, no hiding. Hulk, strongest there is. Battle Fury, when Hulk attacks one or more characters that can use shape change, super senses, or stealth, modify his damage plus one. Uh, unstoppable, when Hulk is targeted without wit or opposing perplex, roll a d6. On a four to six, until your next turn, Hulk has protected that wit and opposing perplex. So basically, uh, <laughs> if you target him without wit or perplex, uh, then you can't. On a four to six, <laughs> so uh, the the effect will immediately lose its ability, uh, and then no other else can try to do the same thing. Mass destruction, special attack power, super strength. When Hulk is given a move action after resolutions destroy all adjacent pieces of blocking terrain, then he can use Quake at no cost. He's got special damage power and rage beyond reason, which is stop free roll of d six out of five to six. Remove an action took from Hulk. Uh, so he's got that stop click all over the place. Uh, he can be played at 350, 250, and 150. Um, I personally tried him at 150 in the pre-release, and he did very well for me. He was uh, a bit of a linchpin, even although there was a lot of times when he wasn't hitting. But the beauty of it is he's got that stop click on his last click with steel energy. So if you can get a hit off with that, you're back to this click. And then they hit you again, you're back to that click. Then you hit them back, and then you're back to this click. And that click has five clicks of health. You're going to win the sustaining damage on that one. <laughs> Or he could also be played at 250 points with a little bit of a deeper dial. The problem is that his Quake uh, Super Strength thing is only on his special power. We're going to talk about the uh, difference between that and another character in a bit. But uh, that's the Hulk in a nutshell. All right, next up, giant figure number six. Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl. Inhumans, Animal, Monster, Scientist, Keywords. My turn, Devil. Free. Turn Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl to the same click number to a different color. Devil Dinosaur and Moon Girl can't be healed above the starting line on either dial. Uh, is, you're going to notice and I'm gonna when I turn over the card that this is very, very functions very similar to the Power Man and Iron Fist character from the uh, Spider-Man set, uh, Superior Foes of Spider-Man, I believe it's called. Anyway, um, he's got a special attack, spring-loaded boxing glove, range, value five, incapacity, it's free, but only to make a range attack. Uh, and the, that's, so these are the two dials. You're either a big monstery, blades, claws, fangy guy, or an incapacitating, outwitting little thing at 175 or 50. So you get different starting lines there on that as well. Probably not going to see competitive play. Going to see some fun play for sure. I'm going to play it against my friends just to see how she does or doesn't do. All right. Giant number eight, Nebula. Cosmic and Deity keywords. Passing of the Gauntlet is her trait. Uh, there's a Thanos in this set that we didn't pull, but uh, also has this effect. When Nebula is KO'd, choose a friendly character for the rest of the game. That character can use willpower and modify its, its combat values by plus one. Uh, cosmic Entity, Cosm uh, Nebula can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. Mere children sent to pester. Special attack power. Barrier incapacitate. Free. Place a blocking terrain marker adjacent to any number of opposing characters with a range of line of fire that have one action token. At the beginning of your turn, remove the markers. Um, special damage power, one uh, one with every molecule in the universe. Perplex, when she uses it, she may also modify the same combat value on all, either all friendly or all opposing characters. So that's really cool, Perplex. Uh, but the Perplex only comes on the 400-point dial, not going to see competitive play. 300-point dial, you got to be brave. Uh, and all the power to you, because you also do get that attack power, which, if I remember correctly, is the barrier incapacity. Um, a potential barrier next to guys, but that you're committing your entire team in competitive play, and then the 125 point line is not going to see competitive play. It's a really cool, super strengthy. This is a giant with nine range, by the way, but uh, it's a super strengthy kind of thing. Pretty okay character, but nothing fabulous uh, as far as uh, competitive is concerned. All right, next up. Oh, geez, starting to peek through here. 
All right, next up we have Jakar, giant number nine. Uh, Colossal Retaliation Immobilize. Uh, if no other Colossal Retaliation has been activated this turn, choose an opposing character that attacks Jakar or damaged a friendly character since your last turn. Place Jakar such that he can make a close attack targeting all the, the targeting the chosen character and all other opposing characters within two squares instead of normal damage hit character each given two action tokens that don't deal pushing damage and may be placed in a square adjacent to the current square. Um... And then he's got a special attack power. You're all my puppets. Power. Telekinesis at no cost up to three times. When he uses it to place an opposing character after resolutions, deal that character one penetrating damage. Jakar cannot target the same opposing character more than once this action. And then he's got Colossal Indifference, which is stop, toughness. Uh, and if you start at 25, you can't attack characters that are smaller except by a Colossal Retaliation. So as a Retaliator for 25 points, not bad. 75 points. You get to, uh, a triple TKer. If you need that kind of investment in telekinesis, uh, could go for it. Or he's 125 points member of Batrock's Brigade or Cosmic. Um, generally, the 25 point version is the one you're going to see in competitive play, and it's a special type of team that's going to make use of it because of that action token adding. But one thing also worth noting is he's got seven range, ten attack, and two damage, which does help him attack other colossal retaliators after using his retaliation. So uh, he could be a retaliator killer, or he could just be adding action tokens. Plus, he's a little tricky to get rid of, but 19 defense with shape change. So uh, there's potential for him, and the right kind of team is going to make effective use of Jakar. All right, next up, giant number 10, Kronos. It's a cosmic entity, can't be the target of an attack with more than one target. Uh, and then you can't kill the abstract Kronos. This, this, you can't kill the abstract is a kind of a lingering effect you're going to find with a lot of the uh, the super eternal cosmic guys. Uh, he's a tr um, So his is once per turn when a friendly character misses all targets of attack and misses at least one target by exactly one, you may re-roll the attack roll. When Kronos is KO'd, this effect continues for the rest of the game. So you have that effect just generally. Um... You can be played at 400, 250, 125, or 60. You look at the 125 or 60, of course, when it comes to competitive play. The 60 points not a bad include when you consider the effect is like a universal probability control for bad luck. Plus, he's already got probability control with 9 range, and he doesn't lose the power cosmic on his point values. So just generally pretty good support character. Sizable support character when you look at figure size, but 60 points for probability control uh, and a probability control that lingers, that's a little bit more difficult to kill. You have to commit at least one, two, three. You have to commit at least four damage to him, and you got to get past the probability control and the super senses. Uh, Kronos could be a bit of a pain in competitive play for some. All right. Think of all those times, guys. It's like, if I didn't miss by one. All right, next up, we have Tony Stark's car. Stark Industries and Vehicle Keywords. Uh, pilot ability. It's all. It's my car, after all. Prerequisite. Character named Iron Man or Tony Stark. Uh, gives it shape change. <laughs> uh, very subtle, Tony. When an attack misses, Tony Stark's car, roll d6. On a 5 to 6, remove an action token from it. It's got a special defense power. Stop. When this click is revealed, KO the car. Okay, so it, it's got kind of like the uh, shield flying car where it becomes its special terrain. It's got a special damage power. Have to have to time this move just right. When Tony Stark's car carries one or more characters during a costed action, after resolutions, roll D6. On a 5 to 6, one character ca carried character may be given a costed action this turn. So very similar to the Elseworlds Green Lantern. When we look at the dial, it is playable at 175 or 10 points. 10 points, of course, is a special terrain. What does a special terrain do? It's still rolling. Use it as cover. Adjacent friendly characters can use energy shield. Uh, it is also hindering terrain for line of fire purposes and blocking for movement. Once again, uh, characters in adjacent squares get an additional plus one defense. Um, when next to the car, when a non-adjacent character misses, uh, a shooting across from this, move the dial. When the special terrain is KO, generate a standard heavy object. All right, uh, at the beginning of your turn, you may place this special terrain into an adjacent square. If you do, at the end of your turn, roll d6. If the result is equal to or less than the display number, KO the special terrain. If not, turn the special terrain dial to the blue click number equal to the result. Uh, so it's kind of like a moving wall, a moving wall if you want it to be, uh, that, or a moving hindering terrain that gives you energy shield. So uh, it's a pretty cool effect on that one. All right. So yes, uh, 10 point special terrain, possible uh, use as that. And some teams might be able to make use of the, those keywords to make a special uh, carried team that does things after being carried. All right, next up, Red Hulk. Avengers, Brute, and Soldier keywords. Mass destruction is his trait. So, this is super strength. Hulk is when Red Hulk is given a move action after res uh, resolutions. 
destroy all adjacent uh, pieces of blocking terrain. Then he can use Quake at no cost. His dial is what you see is what you get, but you got to remember he is traded with that special Quake uh, thing. He's got late dial Earthbound, which keeps him off of his Indomitable and Giant, but he's also got regeneration on those clicks, so he might be able to get himself off of those clicks. 200, 175, or 100. Keep your eyes open on this 100-point version. There's a lot to be said for the new Quake and its potential with uh, Leap Climb, full movement Quake on Colossals. So... Eyes open on this guy. Uh, don't sleep on him. And this is the most American Hulk ever created. Look at that. It's patriotism. Patriotism. America. All right. Next up. It's the Spider-Mobile. Oh, the joke came back to bite me. <laughs> uh, Spider-Man family and vehicle keywords. Uh, he's got trait. Spider spotlight. Locked on. Free. Door hindering terrain. Choose a character within range and line of fire. The character can't use stealth or sh shape change. This turn... It, this Vehicle ignores elevated terrain for movement. Uh, it's a special defense power, which is stop, turn it into its special terrain dial. Uh, special terrain dial is that. This is the dial on a 50 point vehicle. That's a lot of clicks for a 50 point character. Um, and then, much like everything else, additional plus one defense, hindering for shooting, uh, blocking for movement. Web fluid everywhere. Each time a click with this power is revealed, roll a d6. If the result is greater than the displayed number, destroy the special terrain and give a web token to each character within four squares and line of fire. Characters with a web token must break away before any move, and if successful, they remove the web tokens. So it goes splat all over the place if you can move it along. Uh, five points, special terrain is what you're probably going to see this most as. Though... Don't sleep on it as a 50-point character with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 clicks. Jeez Louise. All right, next up. It doesn't get much stranger than this. Uh, he's got Cosmic Keyword. Uh, trait, he's too focused on mortals. It's a 100-point. If you play him at 100 points, he can't use Power Cosmic. By the way, spoiler alert, he's got Power Cosmic. <laughs> Uh, you can't kill the abstract, the stranger. Uh, so once per turn, you may modify a friendly character's range plus three when it uses outwit, perplex, and probability control. When stranger is KO'd, this effect continues for the rest of the game. It's a cosmic entity, so he can't be targeted. Uh, part of a targeted attack that targets more than one character. Um, what curious creatures you are at the beginning of your turn this is a special movement power, which he has at the start of all three of his starting lines. Uh, for the first three clicks. At the beginning of your turn, choose two standard powers that an opponent's characters can use that you didn't choose last turn. Stranger can use those powers until your next turn. Um, so we got to look at the 100 point because 250 is too much of an investment for a character. We kind of like pick powers. We know that, but we look at it at 100 points, and 100 points is not really super competitive. I would use this guy in sealed. I would use this guy in uh, casual, super fun huge games. I'd probably play him at a 400 point dial, but... Uh, I, the, I'm not going to sleep on the 100-point dial, but I'm not going to get super excited for it. All right. Uh, next up. Whew, almost there, guys. Lord Chaos and Master Order. This is one of the super rare uh, ones. Big giant heads. This is what they were talking about in the third rock from the sun, right, guys? Incoming message from the big giant heads. Uh, cosmic Deity and Mystical Keywords. Also worth noting, Power Cosmic and Mystical uh, Team Abilities. You can't kill the abstract chaos in order. When a friendly character critically hits one or more targets, remove an action took from all friendly characters. When an opposing character critically misses one or more targets, give each opposing character an action token that deals no pushing damage. When uh, Lord or Chaos and Master Order are KO'd, this effect continues the rest of the game. He's a cosmic entity, and then he's got a special movement power, Dichotomize. At the beginning of your turn, Lord Chaos and Master in Order can use mind control at no cost. But only as range and only to target up to three opposing characters that attacked Lord Chaos and Master Order since your last turn. Systemize Pulse Wave when Lord Chaos and Master Order use it. If exactly one friendly and exactly one opposing character were hit and both were not KO'd, you may choose that those two characters can't use powers and abilities until your next turn. All right. And this is the dial. Now, 575, 425, 225, and 100 points. Not a bad 100-point Colossal with 10 range, 2 targets. Uh, it's a shame it doesn't have move and attack because I'd definitely be suggesting it uh, with that dial. Uh, I'd probably say a hard casual for sure. Um, maybe some consideration at 100 points if you can get him to work. That perplexed 10 range could go a long way. Uh, I want to talk myself into it, but I can't seem to do it right now. So, 
Uh, mystical keyword, of course, is, mystical team ability is okay at best these days. Um, but there's nothing wrong with that, in, uh, with punishing your opponent for doing damage to Lord Chaos and Master Order. Uh, don't sleep on this guy. But at the same time, do. Because <laughs> you need sleep. All right. Next up, last but not least, Infinity, Cosmic Deity. Uh, keywords, Cosmic Entity Trait. Uh, you can't kill the abstract infinity. Now this one, this oh. other friendly characters modify speed and range plus one, and opposing characters modify speed and range minus one. When infinity is KO'd, this effect continues for the rest of the game. Special movement, phasing, teleport, sidestep, adjacent friendly characters have free. Place this character in another square adjacent to uh, infinity. So look, you got to think about it this way. I'm going to give you a little bit of imagery to work with here. So here's infinity. Uh, and then these guys are adjacent now. If I give, I could give Star Fox a free action and put him over here. Now the act that was actually like an equivalent movement of so from here one two to the third square here, uh, or it could be even over here. You get a sidestep there if you had sidestep. The, there's a lot of motion potential to use uh, Infinity as a body blocker to say the least, so. Um, that's just a part of how amazing she is. The other part, of course, is the fact that she gives plus one speed and range to your characters and minus one speed and range to your opponent's characters. It gives you a bonus reach on all your characters of plus two. Um, I, I think I did a meta lab on that to cover that, so if you're confused by that, don't worry, I have covered that in the past. Uh, Worth noting, at 75 points, worth it. <laughs> Don't kid yourself. This is worth it because you'll basically always say plus one speed, plus one range to your guys, minus one speed, minus one range to your opponent's guys. doesn't matter if this character is on the board or not. Um, and then, of course, she's phasing sidesteps. She's her own kind of mobile uh, as well. Plus barrier. If you're gonna just use her for barrier, use her for barrier. Why not? She's also got precision strike with three. Like for 75 points, this is a pretty okay character with power cosmic. Um, so that's uh, that's the set in a nutshell. Let's wrap this bad boy up. All right, guys. So that was Infinity. Some of it competitive. Some of them not so competitive. Uh, there's ideas to be had. There's figures that could work who aren't uh, at face value super competitive. So take a chance, look at what, it, what what's out there. Uh, throw some of these figures on the table for a kitchen table game, of course. Uh, casual games are always a ton of fun, and never restrict yourself uh, from uh, from getting a chance to play casual games uh, uh, just with friends. Uh, it gives you a chance to play more of your figures and whatnot. Uh, and when it comes to competitive play, of course, there's always just a few that kind of stand out as competitive, but don't let that get you down. It's always great to just try the game out and have a lot of fun. Uh, with that, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thank you guys over at WizKids. Uh, and thank you guys at Comic Warehouse for running a great pre-release. So WizKids, thanks for the break. Comic Warehouse, thanks for a great pre-release. And we'll see you guys uh, around. <laughs> around!